The northern Kenya rangelands are among the largest mass of Kenya's arid and semi-arid lands. Across these landscapes, the Burana, Rendile, Turkana, Gabra, Somali, who are predominantly mobile livestock keepers, move from place to place with their livestock in search of water, forage and pasture. This movement may seem ancient, primitive and disorganized, but they have mastered their movements through use of indigenous knowledge, making the dry lands productive, spreading their risk and maximizing the productivity of their herds. Importantly, 70% of Kenyan livestock products come from these dry lands and create many jobs along their value chains. We know for sure that the meat, the goods, the animals from northern Kenya uh, are very uh, unique in terms of taste. And if we were well organized in production system, we have a big market outside the country. However, frequent and persistent drought presents serious threats to their life. Over the years, pastures have become scarce, water has become a limited resource, causing loss of livestock, with some pastoralists losing up to 100% of their herds during severe drought incidences. Many of the livestock keepers have lost the past customary resource use arrangements that made the system sustainable as a result of the rapid changes in their ways of life. This has made a shift from reliance on natural pastures to pasture planting, harvesting, storage and even purchase from the market to complement the natural feed resources. <laughs> These changes become more pronounced with the increasing human population, urbanization, increased drought and with commercialization of livestock products. The University of Nairobi African Drylands Institute for Sustainability through USAID funded accelerated value chain development projects seeks to produce income from sales of livestock by 50% through improved access to fodder. Enhancing livestock value chain in dry lands through pasture and fodder production will reduce poverty and improve the nutritional status of the communities. Uh, we have been working under the ABCD project uh, uh, supported by USAID and uh, INRI and uh, this project has mainly been focusing on how to we improve livelihoods of the pastoralists. So that's the component that we have been hand, uh, handling uh, as, as the University of Nairobi. And uh, we have so far made uh, good strides with the communities. We have trained them in uh, production of pastures, uh, managing of the animals, and uh, today we are looking at value addition. Because if you talk of commercialization, you have to reduce the cost, the production cost, which is sometimes one of the challenges to the communities, and also changing their mindset to commercialize or embrace the, the commercial angle of uh, production uh, within their setup. As an important change agent in the community, Mrs. Amina Lepadis, a pastoralist in Badassa area in Marsabit, is shifting from free-range livestock rearing to pasture production, not only for subsistence but also for commercial use. Amina is one of the many pastoralists whose capacity on livestock fodder and forage production has been enhanced through AVCD project. Nika 
ngombe yangu hata hakuna mmoja nimekufa kwa sababu inapata chakula kwa karibu sana zingine inaenda tuseme 6 km na inakosa hata kitu ya kuokota kama hii yangu asubuhi naitolea jioni maji na patia kwa boma tu ngombe yangu njao pamoja na mbuzi punda yangu iko karibu sidhani kama kuna kitu yangu yote inatoka nje sasa yote wanafaidika Food production in niche areas pasture conservation in the form of hay and value addition to provide the required nutrient content for use during the dry seasons offers an opportunity for pastoralists in the northern Kenya to enhance resilience. Unaweza tumia urea kutengeneza ngombe aweze kupenda hii na ongeza quality yake. Proper feeding is key to livestock enterprise profitability. Luckily, the presence of numerous feed resources like crops residues with good feed value like legumes, crops can improve utilization of poor quality feed sources like wheat, maize and rice straws. The last time we harvested about 760 bales within this area for this particular place and then we stored now we have come in to show them how to value add and the animals will be good they will not deteriorate and they can also be able to get some little milk for their own use and sell outside outside their home and when they sell they'll get something so it was to improve the, it is improving their livelihood simple technologies to add value to feed exist like the portable miller that can be easily acquired by producers these are some of the important alternative ways to increase livestock productivity with the changing climatic conditions. For the Samburu community in Kipsing, Isiolo County, identified Forder farming groups are adopting water harvesting technologies for intensified pasture production. They are learning on how to make range pits and zai pits as water harvesting structures in enclosed areas for commercial fodder production. Results, bountiful grass harvests. We are training them on adopting commercialized fodder production and therefore we have taken them through great, uh, stages. Stage one uh, was land preparation and why we need, for example, to uh, install uh, the water harvesting structures, why we need to protect our land from illegal grazing, why we need to do weeding, for example, what is the right time to do reseeding. Uh, then we took them to uh, how to manage a restored uh, uh, land. The groups have been selling hay to their members at 300 shillings per bill and 500 shillings per bill to nine members and are therefore motivated to venture into increased production, conservation and even marketing. Siku tu na songa, nadiwa ni tumbo tu, na mwangwesi. Hakika hii, metusaidia sana, metusaidia kwa ajili ya kufuka inyasi. Improved infrastructure has attracted transporters, livestock traders, and commercial food producers from other parts of Kenya into the local markets. With growing food markets, the local people are becoming more aware of the importance of scaling up hay production and trade, hence the increasing need for adopting commercial pasture production model. There has been a lot of investment by other players to try to stimulate this process of uh, fodder production, both in Isiro and Masabet. And we have come in just to trigger that business angle uh, so that um, we create uh, we can illustrate to the pastoralists either as a group or individually that they can produce fodder that can be sold in the market. 
innovativeness and acquisition of technologies that improve land use are beginning to accelerate diversification amongst the communities. Use of machinery in pasture harvesting and packaging of hay in large scale helps meet demand and reduce labor. Ndilipo angalia kuona vile mifugo inateseka na watu wanatoka hapa wanaenda kununua nyasi mbali na nikaangalia vile area hiko watu kuna mashamba makubwa na nyasi ni mingi na ngombe malizi wakati ule kuna mvua niliona niliona ni biashara niliona kuna nafasi ya kufanya biashara na tena kuinua maisha ya wakaaji wa area hii mpaka sasa hii kuna watu wale wamejitokesha wanataka kupanda nyazi pia wameona hiyo ni ninaweza kuwa biashara kwa njia moja ama nyingine na kusaidia mifugo hivyo wanapolima wana haya machine na ina navuna these rangelands have lost immense biological diversity, especially of native grass varieties, but with pasture residing interventions, multiple grass seeds are being witnessed as a result of restoration to formerly degraded soils. Kama sasa hii, hii, hii ndi wanamea ilia hii, hii naitua Finishing of animals for better market value cannot be refuted. Value added fodder is effective for animals to add weight faster when being finished and hence an increase in profitability to their investors. Uh, Abbas Imperial Enterprises generally entails uh, hay production. We also do seed production. We also do issues of cattle and uh, small stock fattening, which uh, includes sheep and goats. We generally want to uh, ensure that these animals are value added and they change from the normal mindset of uh, the rural pastoralism, where we usually move animals from one area to another in search of pasture and such. By beginning the incorporation of the hay, as we have seen, and on the other hand, uh, fattening, we want to change the mindset of the community. Uh, for a long time, uh, the market structures uh, were not there, were not simply there. But uh, with our, our partners, we have been able to elect actually around eight functional markets now in our county, and uh, they are doing well, I, I would say. Except, of course, for the periods when uh, livestock move away out of our county. That's uh, the problem we have on the, the supply side. But people, it's like uh, markets are becoming very popular. Replication of these best practices assures hope not only by restoring biological diversity, but also safeguarding people's livelihoods. Empowering the communities with knowledge by practically doing has shown positive changes in increased adoption of best practices in feed production and utilization. Nekwe tinapata nyongiti nono ni pika dogo kutabero amukorebe akukona.